Hello, everyone. Today we are going to read a children's book called、uh, "Sadwa, the Chinese Siamese Cat."、Um, it's about the、uh, Princess Shigwa story. Look, the two cats are so cute. Ah.、Uh, okay, let's get started. Princess Shigwa. By George Doughty, illustri illustrations by Gretchen Shells. Ready, set, go! Shouted Sedwa. Sedwa and her brother Dongwa were playing tag with their little sister Shigwa. I won! I won! Cried Sedwa. You are just lucky. Replied Dongwa, "Right, Shigwa." Dongwa looked around for his little sister. Look, those two cats. That's、uh, Sadwa. That's Dongwa. Oh.、Uh. Shigwa was playing a new game. "Hello, butterfly," she said. The butterfly darted around her head. Shigwa chased it. She tried to jump as high as the butterfly flew. Ah, look at little Shigwa. She's so adorable and the butterfly. Clap! Shigwa didn't see Tai Tai and the foolish magistrate. They were in the, they were in the pavilion with an important guest. A diplomat from Beijing. That's Tai Tai. That's little Shigwa. Oh. What is this animal doing here? Cried Tai Tai. The foolish magistrate picked up Shigwa. He tickled her under the chin. Why, my dear? It's only our sweet little kitten. He said, "This the foolish magistrate and the, the little shikwa that he hold his holding." Well, she needs to be a terrible kitten," grumbled Tai Tai. But then Tai Tai started to laugh. Shikwa was so cute; nobody could stay mad at her. Look, that's Tai Tai. There's a diplomat from Beijing. The man from Beijing looked at Shigwa. He pointed to a mark on her cheek. It was shaped like a star. This is very interesting, he said. He took a closer look. This little Shigwa. That's the mark on her cheek, like a star. I never noticed that mark before," Tai Tai said. Suddenly, the man from Beijing gasped. "You should be thrilled!" he exclaimed. Look, that's the man from Beijing. It's Tai Tai. Do you know what this mark is? It's the star of the princess. He said with great importance. Yes, said Tai Tai, great, getting excited. I do remember an ancient Chinese prophecy. Anyone born with this star is a princess. Look, the foolish magistrate and the little Shigwa. But he's kidding! Shouted the foolish magistrate. It does not matter," said the man. "Your kitten was born with a star." "My goodness!" exclaimed Tai Tai. "Our little Shigwa is a princess kitten." Oh, they're so surprised! Look, Tai Tai, she's so happy, and the man from Beijing. The next day, Tai Tai and the foolish magistrate. 
gave a great party for Princess Shidwa. Shidwa sat on a very fancy pillow. She wore very fancy robes. Everybody had to bow to her, even Satwa and Dongwa. Tai Tai served Shidwa her food. Everybody in the palace showered Shidwa with wonderful gifts and delicious treats. Everybody seemed happy for Shidwa. Well, everybody except Satwa. Look that's in the palace. This little Shidwa sat on a pillow. This is Satwa. She's jealous. Look at everyone. Oh. Look at Tai Tai giving some fish to little Shidwa. I can't believe Shidwa is going to get all the good stuff. It's not fair, said Wa signed. Said Wa, don't be jealous, said Mama Meow. You should be happy for your sister. But said Wa couldn't help feeling jealous. Shidwa was getting everything, and said Wa could only watch. Finally, she's not outside. Oh, that's Mama Meow. That's a little sad one. She's jealous of her sister. So she ran away to outside with the mountains and clouds. Out in the garden, Fufu flew down to great Sedwa. It is so exciting that Shidwa is a princess, exclaimed Fufu. It should have been me, blurted Sadwa. I should have been the princess. I'm older, I'm faster, I'm smarter. Look, that's the bad Fufu flew down to talk to Sadwa. But Shidwa was born with the star, said Fufu. You should be happy for her. Why should I? exclaimed Sadwa. Because she's your sister, said Fufu quietly. And she's always been happy whenever something good happened to you. Sadwa thought for a moment. You're, you're right, Fufu, she said. I should be happy for her. And she scrambled back into the palace. Fufu talked to Sadwa out. So Sadwa ran back to the palace, and Fufu flew away. But in the palace, Shidwa was bored. She had eaten too much, and she was tired of just sitting while everybody bowed to her. Aww, look at little Shidwa. She's so bored, and uh, she looks so sad. And the Tai Tai just staring there, look out the food. She probably so full of the food. As soon as Shidwa saw Satwa, she jumped off the pillow and ran over to her big sister. Come on, Satwa, let's go outside and play. I don't want to be a princess anymore. Oh, look at little Shidwa is so happy to see her sister come back. She just jumped off the pillow. Oh. Everybody in the room gasped. The guest from Beijing rushed over. But, you know, your highness, you have no choice. You are the princess. You were born with a star. Exactly said Tai Tai. So you must act the little princess. You can't play with Sadamon anymore. But it's no fun being princess, Shidwa started to cry. I want to play with Sadwa. I want to play with Gawa. Oh, look, everybody is mad that, that Shidwa ran away. Look, look Shidwa, she's so sad, oh. She's crying. 
and everybody is so sharp like that. Sadwa couldn't understand. Shidwa had everything, but her little sister just cried harder and harder. Tears rolled down her cheek, right over the star of the princess. Ah, Shidwa is crying so hard, and all her tears come out. Ah, and then, to everybody's amusement, amazement. The star became lighter and lighter. The more Shidwa cried, the lighter it got, until it faded away completely. Oh, look at her sister, Sadwa, and little Shidwa. Her star is fading away. It was only mud on her cheek exclaimed the man from Beijing. She isn't a princess after all. Not a princess? Not even a tiny little bit? whispered Tai Tai, broken hearted. Before Tai Tai could say another word, she was darted into the garden. Sadwa ran after her. Ah, oh, look little she was so happy now. She just ran into the garden. And her sister follows her. How cute. Help me get out of these robes, said Shidwa. But they're so beautiful, said Sadwa. They're hot and itchy, answered Shidwa. I don't like them. But what about all the presents and all the food, said, said Sadwa. I was so jealous of you. You were jealous of me? Said, said Shidwa. Yes, I was. Said Sadwa quietly. I'm sorry I wasn't happy for you. I'm sorry you are not a princess anymore. Huh? Those two sisters are talking to each other. They are so cute. Oh, little Shidwa. Oh. Oh, little bow. Shidwa thought for a second. Well, I'm not sorry. Being a princess was no fun. For me, the best thing is being a little sister. Come on, let's play tag. You, you're it, Shidwa said. Bet you can't catch me, Shidwa happily chased after her. Aw, they are playing tag. Little Shidwa just ran away. And her big sister, I'm gonna catch you. Uh. The end. That's the glossary. Glossary. It's the Sadwa, the Shidwa. And Beijing is the capital of China. The diplomat is uh, like an ambassador. And that's the Magistrate like that. <laughs> the end. Shidwa is a princess? That's impossible. Sadwa can't believe that her little sister is famous and that everyone is making such a fuss. But Shidwa isn't happy about it either. It's no fun being a princess. Will Sadwa and Shidwa figure out what things are not always what they seem? Alright. That's Princess Shidwa of Sadwa, the Chinese cat, cat. Thanks for watching. There will be more dramatic reading in the future. Bye.